Finally, we are successful in entering one of the electric factories. This plant is called Hop Megaplex, right? This is a uh, this is a plant in Jaipur, rolling out one scooter every four minutes from this line. If there is no store nearby you, and you're still interested in in our products, we'll be happy to ship it directly to your home. We got selected in the PLI Auto Scheme this year. Just finished riding this OXO from Hope Electric and I am in their plant as well. So we just finished riding this naked electric motorcycle, had a lot of fun, a lot of testing to see how this performs. Super impressed. You might have already seen that video. If you did not, check in the description and the pinned comment, it will be there. And uh, so Nikhil, the co-founder of the Hope Electric Mobility, you know, he was showing the plant and uh, how far they have come across. and. I thought why not share it with you guys as well. So let me introduce Nikhil to you guys and uh, so he's gonna share us the experience. Hi, Hi. Nikhil. How are you? Hope good, you had good fun with the with Doxo. We had a lot of fun. So thanks for having me here, Nikhil. Okay. So we all see the final product, a lot of us. Uh, right. But I am personally super excited to see how this works and uh, everything, how the assembly line, how this, how you guys put together uh, in electric because uh, I was there, I worked in few petrol ice plants to see how the engine assembly works but i want to see how it works for the electric so uh, this is a hop electric this plant is called hop megaplex right this is a uh, this is a plant in jaipur okay. uh, we started this plant uh, in december and finished up this was commissioned on i think 2nd of january okay. this year only mm. uh, this plant is a 40000 square feet area right capable of doing about 1.2 lakh to 1.5 lakh units in annually okay depends upon how the demand cycles are okay right uh, today is a sunday unfortunately you have come on a sunday today is a week unfortunately as well fortunately as well yes you said that there will be less noise so <laughs> that is one part. But unfortunately, the line is not running. The line is line switched is off. Team is not here today. Tomorrow, you come back. You come. You can come. Do, yeah, yeah. See the entire line running, right? Yeah. But since there is no noise today, we can. I, I can. I'll just quickly explain to you the how the process works, right? Yeah. So why did you shift it to this plant? What was so your so previous plan? We were scaling plan? up. Yeah, we were scaling up. Uh, last July, when we started off our sales, right after second wave of COVID. Mm. Um, we started opening up stores and then initially we were, uh, I'll take you to the, the R&D center, it was our garage setup, right? We initially started assembling scooters there. Yeah. There we were, we were doing about, we started off 20 scooters a day, 40, 60, right? And then we realized, okay, we need to scale up the plant. We need to scale up the plant, right? Okay. Uh, the demand cycle was going up. So we had to uh, set up and November we decided we need a pl bigger plant. We finished that up. Okay. December we started work on this and uh, it took us about 20 odd days to finish this okay. and January 3rd we commissioned and started rolling out products from here. Okay. So now this plant is capable of doing about 180 units a day. Okay. Right. Wow. Rolling out one scooter every four minutes from this line. Wow. Um, How many people working here? There is a staff of about 70 people. Okay. Team. So I'll, let me just give you a quick download of what the plant is, right? This, that side it's all storage, In inventory. parts, yeah, inventory, parts from our multiple suppliers across India comes here, Okay. right? Uh, this is where the chassis storage is. So I think this is where the steps process starts, right? Chassis comes in from, from our suppliers, it gets into the plant. Okay. It gets marked, the VIN numbers are marked here. Yeah, that's Similarly, important. Yeah, the VIN numbers are marked here. Similarly, these are the tested batteries from our suppliers. Uh, they are marked with the uh, with the concerned serial numbers here. Okay. And then uh, we start rolling the rolling chassis here, right? First steps is mounting up the suspensions, front, front suspension. Okay. I think this is the bar that you can see. This is how you mount a front suspension to the main chassis. Uh, tomorrow when you'll come, you'll see the entire process. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You'll get a much clearer idea with that. So idea here is that you mount the front suspension and then first six stages are 
uh, rolling chassis parts. I think just walk along, I'll show you. So there are 14 okay. steps. This is a continuously running line. Okay. Right, there are 14 steps to it. At first step, they'll mount uh, they'll mount the suspension, they'll mount the front handbrake, they'll mount this front plastic. Okay. Right, and then the, on the next step, they'll do the handlebars, they'll do the wheel assembly. So this wheel assembly is happening at the back end. Okay. There's a tire assembly area where the wheels, uh, the alloys, these alloys, rims, mm -hmm. or motors and wheels are all mounted together. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so I will show you that space later. Yeah. And then they start uh, putting up these wheels on the chassis. See, you see the motor wheels are there. Okay. They all Correct. come from as the line. There is a daily plan for the, for the line, right? Okay. And this is where they mount these wheels. Okay. And then they move forward. This is where, this, at this step, they mount rear brakes, wiring harness. Hmm. Once that is done, this is the first quality check gate, right? Because here most of the underlying electricals, uh, let me just show you around, right? So this is, so to say, a rolling chassis, Correct. right? Controllers are mounted, wiring harness is done, wheels are there, motors are there. And then this, when the vehicle hits this position, it, is get, it gets electrically checked here. Okay. Right, so idea here is that before doing plastic paneling, uh, you should thoroughly check the entire electrical parts. Correct. Right, whether all the connections are right, right. So it's a quality gate here and then there are next six, seven gates till gate number 14, okay. gate number 13, right. These are all plastic uh, panel mounting gates. Panel mounting. You do side panels, front FSA plastic, you do uh, front panels, headlights, tail lights, yeah. all of that steps happen here. Once the product is finished, then there is again a last gate okay. where quality check happens, mm -hmm. right. and. If there are any defects found, to, okay. to left to this side is rework area, mm -hmm. right? If the last guy says, okay, there's other defect found, maybe maybe a small scratch on the paint, okay. right? Maybe uh, a loose panel, correct? Or maybe just a small panel gap, correct? If the last QC guy finds a problem, he take he marks the vehicle, it goes down to the left side, okay? Right? If the vehicle is completely okay, it goes to this. So this is entire finished good area, right? Okay. There are about 120 odd scooters lying here. Okay. Uh, they'll be shipped tomorrow. So okay. every day we can ship out two trucks, three trucks easily. Okay. Right. Finish good will come here and then finish good lies here. And mm -hmm. based on the dispatch plans, people dispatch the trucks. Correct. And every day two or three trucks are coming. So Nikhil, uh, tell us a little more about the hop electric mobility. So how did this all started? See, back in 2018, right, uh, me and Ketan met. We, uh, we were two people from in renewable energy sector. I was running another startup in residential solar. He was doing a large scale utility solar, right? And we realized the next generation of clean tech is utilization of this renewable energies. Right? Correct. That's where we started working on the on our ideas of uh, how do we get into the mobility side of it, right? Initially, we started, we, because we come from energy background, we started working on our batteries, uh, battery packs, swapping stations. That was the first generation that we started working upon. And as and when we moved forward in our development cycle, we realized uh, a lot of work needs to go into vehicles, Correct. right? You cannot uh, master a battery pack, but the vehicles are not good enough. If the vehicles are not good enough, it's and that's yeah. yeah, that's where we realize okay, it's a, it is vehicles and batteries are uh, one combined unit in totality, right? Cannot treat them two separate items. Correct. Uh, so Rahil came on board. He came on board as a CTO, as a co-founder with us, mm -hmm. uh, because he's the guy. He has a lot of background in the development side of the vehicles. Understand? He has deep roots in technology ecosystem, right? Correct. So that he came on board. That's where we started working out on the vehicles. Uh, took us about. We started onboarding a couple of good people in the team. Took us about a year or two years in stealth to come out with. Uh, a well-engineered product Correct. and then we did and this was all happening during the course of COVID, right? Correct. Uh, we were still working, somehow we managed to figure out time and space to work. Mm -hmm. uh, and yes, after the second wave was lifted, we decided to come out of stealth. Mm -hmm. That's where uh, sh sales team came on board. Vivek Tomar, he heads the business part of it, Avinash ji, Rajneesh ji, a lot of people, industry experts came, came on board, right? Okay. And that's when we started off selling, I think first month was 33 units for us okay right next month was step some, by step process uh, yeah some uh, 70 odd units and then now we are on a monthly run rate of more than 1000 vehicles okay that's right? a good number yeah, yeah. so that is what where we are heading right now hmm. and uh, last 9 months have taught us a lot right uh, 
how do you real time incorporate feedback from your consumers or dealer partners Correct. into an active production line hmm. into an active product how do you optimize your supply chain how do you scale them up correct right scaling up is a big challenge here so but yeah this has been good fun right for us uh, so last year was fun uh, now we have 94 stores across 13 states. Correct. Uh, that's my next question going to be. Yeah. Hop started very small. Said that the first month we had 33, 77. Not a great number. Yeah. But the way that you guys are growing, slowly expanding across India now. So, Hop, you can, you must have heard of if you are part of North India. South India, a uh, little bit, maybe. But so slowly. South India, yeah, we have presence only in Hyderabad, Telangana and Andhra region because uh, can't spread too far to thin right now. Correct. Right, so we were very strategic about our approach where in year one, which all states we need to target. Mm -hmm. So we have start established routes there now. Uh, there are about 14 stores active in South. Okay. Now this year we're gonna expand that network, right? And up North, Rajasthan, Gujarat, Haryana, Uttar Pradesh, Punjab, mm. uh, going down to West Bengal, Odisha. So right. this, belt, this belt is all covered. Okay, so uh, Nikhil, my question is, so, how do you differentiate yourself among this ton of uh, electric companies that is there in India market? So it's you ca you look at any corner, you have an electric mobility company. Mm. So how do you guys differentiate yourself? See, there all of us know there is a low hanging fruit, right? Because the supply chain being sorted from imports. Correct. So that is a place where a lot of people have started working with, and we also leverage that initially. Correct. But. Hardcore understand getting into hardcore engineering is essential. Correct. Right. Getting into hardcore supply chain is essential. You cannot like you cannot operate as a trader for a much longer period, right? Correct. And from day one we started off on the ground, right? We needed to uh, actually work on definite engineering. Correct. Right. Uh, maybe after this visit you'll go to the R and D center, meet Correct. CTO. You'll see uh, there's entire uh, battery engineering unit. There is entire uh, vehicle R vehicle integration and design development department. So, like you, what you're yeah. telling is, so it's not that we are getting parts and assembling it. We are testing it out because uh, once you get this responsibility, you know the safety of the person who is riding falls upon you, and for that you can't really uh, completely trust on the supplier as well. You have to do your own background uh, check as well. You have to do your See, own yes. testing. S uh, check what works best for See, you as guys. A, as an OEM, we have to design, develop everything, in, right? engineer everything. And then the suppliers come on board to manufacture those things. Correct. Right. But at the but the core understanding has to be with you. Correct. That then only you can assure a reliable, safe product to the market. Correct. And last nine months, we have taught us a lot about how to get a reliable, safe product, right? You have, uh, I think you had good fun with OXO. And it, even if it is a prototype stage, right? You can, I, I'm sure that you can tell that <laughs> yeah. the performance or the, there were no compromises even at the prototype level, right? Because I have like, seen prototypes and <laughs> the prototypes were really bad. Yeah. And you call that a prototype? I'm, it's a really good product already. That's you also. You also tell us about the products that is. So we currently right to now. have two have two models, mm -hmm. Leo and Life. Yeah. I think these are uh, not finished right now. They, you will see the finished models there. Oh, that's okay. That's ah. okay. So Leo and Life, these are two hot selling products. They both come in two configurations: a 70 kilometer range configuration and a 120 kilometer range configuration. Okay. Right. So people have choice to opt for a standard battery pack or an extended battery pack based okay. on their riding habits. Correct. Uh, I remember you telling once we were talking. No. Hmm. So we are not someone who are uh, targeting the niche market where price your scooter very expensively, have an exaggerating range. But you have to uh, target the family audience where budget is very, very important. So, so what is the thought process re regarding the pricing? Because uh, in India, it's very, very important. See, we are a price sensitive market, right? Uh, there are two ways how you can get into a market. Either you get on the top niche corner, right? Where people buy for, for early movers, technology adopters buy for, uh, they already have two vehicles or three vehicles at home. They'll say, okay, now there's a new technology out there. Let me just test it out. Test it out. Right, and they'll buy. That is not where the scale is, the, the where the masses is. When you go out in masses, you have to cater to much larger audience, right? The moment you go down to tier two, tier three cities, right? The questions are different. Correct. Right? It's True. completely different. People, preferences of buying are very different, right? They're not bothered about a, a high-tech product. They're bothered about a reliable, safe product. Right. At the end of the day, what they want is that uh, range jitna bolte ho, utna point dete ho. A to point Yeah, like 
they need consistency with the product because that is their bread earner right, right. they need to run on their vehicle every day hmm. so yeah that is where like i think a robust supply chain quality product quality parts good engineering all of those are uh, basic fundamentals of automotive yeah you can't miss that correct if you're missing on those basic things uh, i think you'll end up losing ground very quickly true and yeah uh, i think we have about 24 odd people in hardcore engineering and testing now testing oh, right okay. hardcore engineering testing i think that's where i feel uh, a lot of companies are not doing that they're just getting the parts and assembling it and giving it up without yeah. even proper testing is what i feel it's not sustainable for long term no correct no if if the ambition is to become uh, third largest fourth largest company in next 2 years hmm. right then you cannot operate on that that logic correct because uh, i'm sure in the next video i'll try to cover you guys regarding the battery technology that uh, hop electric is using uh, because they stay in rajasthan which you see i'm sweating like anything yeah, right? even so me too. it's like 43 degrees celsius right now correct so in this uh, hot conditions there were not even a single incident or anything that yeah, has nothing to happen but in very cold places a lot of things are happening yeah. so that tells you guys that a lot of testing is going on so we have been riding these bikes since morning right we have done close to 80 90 kilometers in this peak summer correct oh right? my god and i have i have tan, tan from ah from same here same here <laughs> so uh, but now since we this is our default ambient temperature we can't do anything about it we have to so we are lucky that we have we are given this temperature box for testing okay right so and you you have uh, you rode the bikes right did you find anything wrong either the motor is heating up or no. shutting off no. or the battery is heating up or shutting down no. like did you find anything wrong no. and we did a decent uphill climb we did off roading we did What a decent? lot of things if right if you call the performance decent then <laughs> that's really good man at at an uphill it's going about 60 70 kilometers per hour uh, on a hairpin bend that was good so this is the products on the riders, huh? no? depends upon the riders too no <laughs> <laughs> depends upon the rider how pro you are yeah 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 so this is leo this is one of the model uh, these are two models that we are selling right now the okay. both of them uh, fall in the low speed category uh, okay but yeah the they come with a lot of features and things that are not that do not come standard right i think you road these and you know the difference yes the small tweaks Correct. right acceleration there's no throttle lo- lags here is what i found i'll make a complete review for sure very soon uh, what i found the difference compared to uh, the other exist- existing similar scooters is the throttle response that's really quick and yeah. you don't find it usually you have that half a second or one second lag once you give the throttle it takes its own sweet time let let me take my time pradeep and then it gives the power to the motor yeah. but here I, you have the instant acceleration so that was really good so both of these platforms are 72 volt platforms correct right and then they are calibrated for based on real time feedback correct right based on real time testing correct uh, that's where we realize okay this is the sweet spot where a person will neither feel jerk mm. or not nor feel lag correct right that's what is happening right either you under calibrate you'll feel uh, a lot of lag correct. you'll over calibrate you'll feel a lot of jerk correct. right moment you mm. do a throttle you fall back right because motors give you an instant power correct right. so, so what will be the pricing of both this product i think this uh, starts close to 84000 Okay. And the higher battery range goes to 89000. Okay. And this is about 3 or 1000 expensive than this purely okay. because it's a much more broader specialized look. So, uh, let's say uh, I have an Activa someone who is oh. riding Activa for oh. like good 5 6 10 years oh. and they want to look at electric oh. because the fuel prices oh. here in Rajasthan I was looking at the fuel prices 125. it's 118 125 today. 20? I just read on Google yeah. <laughs> yeah, when I read yesterday it was 118 and today it's 125. That's a, it's raising every day yeah. and electric makes a lot of sense and good companies like hop needs to be encouraged and so how long will you have pan india uh, stores how long will it take for i we hop? target to open about reach about 400 locations this year mm-hmm. like this is the bare, bare minimum target hopefully we will cross that okay uh, we'll cross that number okay uh, I think yeah I think 400 locations this year and then over next 3 years we are going to have more than 3000 locations 
and along with the scooters there is a very very interesting stuff that not a lot of OEMs are doing it is a battery swapping in infra unlike a lot of them telling they have a very practical uh, you have used it yes. yeah I used it yesterday and I was surprised and I'll make a completely dedicated video on that separately which I'll have it very very yeah, soon yeah. because that's awesome man take your ATM card and get a battery that's how easy that is see <laughs> uh, if we actually have to, you said you had a question, right? That how would an Activa buyer Correct. actually go in for electric vehicles? Yes. One, they need a robust product, hmm. right? They need a consistent robust product. Somebody who's been riding one Activa since last 10 years Correct. knows that this is a robust product, right? One is that. Then uh, we cannot undo their experiences. Correct. Right. Either we match that or one up that. You right. Today they go to a fuel station, they get a they get fueling done in less than two minutes and then move on. Correct. Right. They do not spend three hours on just the fueling part of it. Yes. So, yeah, that is where our battery swapping infrastructure will come in. We have we are running a closed loop pilot since last year. Yes. Uh, there are more. There are a few customers. I, I think we have clocked more than five lakh kilometers in battery swapping now. OK. Uh, these are pure cons uh, retail consumers, right? These are not fleet partners. These are individuals who have purchased the scooter and running on swapping. OK. Right. And it was it was kept locally to Jaipur because we wanted to mature the platform, right? We yep. wanted to understand what happens with the battery packs. We wanted to understand how customer behaves. Yep. Where are they swapping? When are they swapping? Now we are working on generation two of it. Uh, as and when the swapping policy gets announced, we'll we'll hopefully we'll come out with the extensive line of products on swapping also. I'm sure that's going to be very very good because I saw it yesterday. I was surprised. I did not find it anywhere. See, a lot of people are telling that it's going to come in the future, but to see it uh, in person, it's no. running since last almost uh, 14 months now. But it's very limited, bro. So not a lot of people know about it. So you're going to have that video very, very soon. And uh, soon we'll be covering the hope of uh, scooters as well. We'll make a completely dedicated video on that. So thank you so much, uh, Nikhil, Perfect. for giving a tour of um, your factory. Do visit the R&D center, meet Rahil there, meet the design team. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you'll see a lot, a lot of interesting things. Thanks for actually giving us this opportunity. Because uh, the plan was only to ride the OXO, share my feedback, uh, see how it's performing and all that. I was super impressed. And this is all happening after yeah. the ride. <laughs> like, I think if we are doing something, why should we not show it, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Had we not been doing things, then we, I would have said, no, 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 I can't show you that, I can't show you this. But we are doing things. Yeah. Why not? So finally, we are successful in entering one of the electric factories. So <laughs> we have achieved something. <laughs> and yeah. So we believe that industry is at a stage where being open is more important than being a closed Correct. Uh, company, right? Mm. There are a lot of things. If we can share information and knowledge, we can actually accelerate the transition. We actually accelerate the development cycles. Correct. Right. Actually, accelerate those supply chains. Ah, just one more thing. I think this year, you this April, you are here. Next April, I'll invite you over for the next factory. Uh, this is called Megaplex. Next one would be called Gigaplex, and wow. maybe this will be. That'll be. I don't know how many times of this, but much bigger. We have already signed a MOU with Rajasthan government we have, wow. for a 2025 acre land. So we'll, we have started working. Uh, we, have, we got selected in the PLI auto scheme this year. Correct. Right. I saw so that that's name. That's when I first come across Hop. Yeah. And then I started reading because you guys were not there in South India, right? Yeah. Slowly, then once I started riding and we got in touch, see this bigger plant and things that they are going in right now. You're going to get into the battery infrastructure system as CV, well. CV, be... Uh, we will, there are a lot of plans, right? As in we go forward, we'll really be, reveal a lot of things. There are a few products coming up. Right now there's OXO that is planned for the launch. And then there is another scooter that is planned to be launched. Correct. And there are more products, three more products that are lined up that yeah. are in development cycle right I now. I have already so, seen that scooter which is coming up. It's, yeah. That's all I can say. <laughs> that's all I can say for now. Yeah, but yeah, we are building for masses. We are building for all of India. We are not building for a limited segment of India. We're building, you're going to see a good amount of products, good healthy quality, tested products. At a really good price. At good well. pricing. At very genuinely priced products, yeah. So let's go meet uh, Rahel and uh, the CEO so, as well. So we'll talk to them because uh, I want to know more about the battery stuff and you guys as well because that's the hot topic of India right now. Nobody giving any official statement. Let's see why this kind of incidents also happening in electric. What is important to keep the batteries safer and to keep you guys safer. So you'll watch that video next.
yeah so we are gonna go there yeah. so i hope you guys like the video if you did hit the like button comment down below what do you think and if you're interested in hope if you're somewhere very close to them go take a test ride and uh, visit the so visit the, the website you'll see all our all, all our dealership locations on the website uh, you can book online and if you are genuinely interested we'll ship it ship a product directly to your home also okay i think we can do that directly to home yeah, yeah, yeah hey, that's nice thing, man yeah. So guys do check so it out. So even if we are present only in 13 states but uh, there is no sh if there is no store nearby you and you're still interested in in our products we'll be happy to ship it directly to your home. Perfect. Yeah. So maybe if you are available somewhere go take a test ride and if you have already seen enough videos and you are satisfied go for it. Yeah. Guys do subscribe, ride safe and it's time to go electric. This is our answer to every consumer, every uh, you know, ICE user to make a switch to electric mobility. You get a card, you just uh, click here, which is um, uh, you know swapping through the IC card. You put your card here. The balance gets deducted, you know, into the system. This uh, opens up. A mechanical strength, but it's mostly about how the cell will perform in electrical and thermal conditions. Correct. And all